just posted a video and uh, there's something else that the Lord wants me to share too. The title of this video is, There is no freedom there. There is no freedom there. The Bible says that wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. The Lord talks about Paul writing to the Galatian church in the chapter 5 of Galatians spoke about the works of the flesh. In each one of those names mentioned in that list, there is no freedom there. Read Galatians chapter 5 and find out what that list looks like. There is no freedom there. Wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. When God commands us to do specific things, there is freedom. When we decide what we want to do based on how we see it and how we feel, and that we're the captain of our own ship, there really isn't any freedom there. There is no freedom there. There's someone that's listening to this video that needs to hear those very words. That where you stand right now, you do not have freedom in Christ. There is no freedom there. Why? Because the Bible says, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And the decisions that we make and the directions that we go can grieve and quench, the Bible says, the Holy Spirit out of our lives. And we wonder sometimes why things are not going the way that we thought they should or the way that we thought God even said it would go. The Bible says, wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. That doesn't mean that we have the freedom to do whatever we want to do. It means that we have, for the first time in our life, are able to experience the freedom that we have in Jesus Christ, not ourselves. Because of the Spirit of God, we have freedom. But there are some, again, listening to this video that do not understand at all what that means. And the first step that you need to know how to experience that freedom, not by packing up and moving someplace else, not by changing your job, not by this or that, but getting on your knees and asking God to forgive you of any sin that you have done. First, acknowledge that you are a sinner, that you need a savior, that the love of God was demonstrated toward us even while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That was the expression of God's love. And there are some listening to this video, the next thought is, that you think God has abandoned you. You think God is nowhere to be found. He was there one time, and now he's not there at all. And I would tell you right now that I believe that the Lord is trying to grow you up spiritually. He's trying to show you what it means to really walk with Jesus Christ, to follow him. There must be sacrifice. There must be a crucifixion of you daily. I crucify myself daily. Pick up my cross and follow him. That means that we put to death us. We put to death those things and desires that we have in our heart to bring attention to and gain when it comes to us. It is about Jesus. It is about his kingdom. It is about eternity. Every single one of us have a soul. And every single one of us, when we die here, will spend eternity in one of two places. God has given every human being in their heart the message of who God is. Another place to read, Romans chapter 1. That because he has given us that message in our heart about him, none of us are without excuse. We must respond. 
Our soul is meant to live forever. One place or another. Heaven in the presence of God or hell separated from him. We have a decision right now. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God rose Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart between you and God that God rose Jesus from the dead, died on the cross and rose again from the dead because of your sin and to save your soul from hell. That's the gospel, folks. We need to focus our attention on how God thinks. Everybody listening to this video needs to be in the Word of God. Not looking for YouTubers that read God's Word or someone who felt God tell them something. But every single one of you listening to this video need to be in God's Word so you hear His voice. Because the promises are clear that if we will hear him, obey him, then we will be like the psalmist said in Psalm chapter 1, like a tree planted by rivers of living water. You want to know what the sound of God's voice sounds like? Read a Bible verse and you'll hear it clear as day. God bless you guys. Have a great day.